and we are what 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 are we we are back if you didn't understand that it's because you haven't watched the rest of my videos I say it every time beginning of the video so we're back and I missed you guys so we're gonna talk about transparency mask let's get rid of these shapes this compound shape and path that was on there and we're gonna keep this no matter yet let's get rid of that too let's just make a square now essentially a transparency mask is something that changes the level of opacity or opacity however you want to say it I say opacity but it changes that leveling but it does it in various gradations as a mask so only certain portions of your image are affected now in order to have a transparency mask you have to essentially have something that is masking your object and that actual object should have levels of black and white to it which are gonna hide and or expose your shape underneath so let's place a square on our stage and on our artboard and we're gonna grab that and we're gonna duplicate it we're gonna make another shape that's identical so you see we have two on top but we're gonna change this to a gradient we're gonna make it linear and let's uh, slide this over just a bit what we're gonna do is we're gonna select both objects you can either command or control a and select them both or you can just highlight both of them and they're gonna go to your transparency panel if it's not open you go to window you go all the way down to transparency and it'll come up and then we're going to click in our drop down option and we're gonna click make opacity mask and when we do that you'll notice that the black area becomes the area of transparency and the white area is the area of opaqueness so you can see the color whereas the black area hides it in the back okay very simple you can do it with a regular gradient you can also change the levels in your gradient so that way your transparency mask acts a little different and how you actually do this is when you want to edit the mask you click your object you go to your transparency window and you'll notice there is a mask here you have to double click that all right and what happens is <clears throat> now if you click this you go to your gradient you can change the adjustment of that actual mask so let's change so we can see how we can shift by changing the colors in the gradient for what shines through now to get back out if your layers are selected you see it says layers opacity mask it's because you're inside that mask to get out you click on your transparency panel and then you click on your actual color layer or your shape layer whatever your art is and it says click to stop editing and you click that and now you're back in your layers panel if you want to get rid of the mask you select it and you go over to release and now you have your gradient back and you have your object below it so very simple these are the ways that you can develop an actual opacity mask you make a gradient adjust it to how you want highlight that gradient with respect to the object in your transparency window click the drop down option of make opacity mask or just the button that says make mask and voila you have a mask you can also change the direction by clicking invert mask and then you can edit your mask by clicking on the actual mask itself in the transparency window of course you go to gradient you can change this even if you wanted it to be radial and you'll notice that it is now a radial transparency gradient okay and once you're ready to get back out you go back to your transparency window you click your shape or your art that's on the left hand side of that mask and it says click to stop editing and once you do you'll notice your layers change in your back to your regular area and that's how you create 
opacity and transparency mask. Very simple, very easy, but it's really effective if you want to get a unique look to various aspects of your art and you want to do something similar to how Photoshop has its actual masking. Okay? Uh, play around with it a little bit, get used to it. Very simple tool, but very powerful. So, uh, our next discussion is actually going to be discussing the artboards and how we can manipulate those and the sizes and adjust it for what we're looking for. So, stay tuned and check that out when you get a chance. All right, I'll see you guys.